and hello my angelites this is angel terry here with some more elite landing uh tutorial guide for anarchy online now before we begin i know i've been making some annotations but i do apologize if you hear a lot of coughing in the background um my family had gotten over COVID last week, but we're still stuck with a lot of uh, after effects, you know, like coughing, runny nose, stuffy head and stuff. And my sister is who you mainly hear and her computer's next to mine and she's trying so hard <laughs> to cover her cough. So I'm gonna do my best to try to either do recordings when she's uh, away or if not, do what I can to hopefully make it not too noticeable it's just, you know, I know some people can find that annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, secondly, we are in the implants part of the tutorial. Oh, excuse me. I have, I just had my lunch. I have some soda, so get ready for the burps. <laughs> but this part of the mission, very important that you uh, make note of what I'm going to say. Uh, Doc Mason, the NPC that we're going to talk to, he is going to give us very specific implants to make. And you have to follow what he says because if you make the wrong implant and give it to him, he will just stop talking to you. For some reason, they don't give you another chance. You just stop talking to you and you cannot continue the main quest. And by that point, you either have to petition, re-roll your character, or just go for the um, 15,000 bribe. Uh, it, which, which, which is the quick way you bribe this one NPC with 15,000 credits. Okay, so I cannot stress enough, you must follow the information and the stuff that Dr. Mason tells you to make. Once you do his things, then you can make all the other implants you want to do. All right, so here's Dr. Mason. <clears throat> Good day to you. If you've come looking to improve your quality of life through the power of bodily augmentation, you have come to the right place. I heard you might be able to help me. You spend a few moments explaining your situation to the patient doctor. Ah, yes, another one. I should say that forging an ID chip is rather illegal and somewhat risky. Wait a minute. I've been awarded the highest. Oh, okay. I think, I don't know what this is. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, but truthfully, I'd rather lend a hand against the bu bureaucratic red tape nonsense than be a stickler for the law. However, I won't help you without a little hand in return. Trust me, the task I have for you is mutually beneficial. See my fine selection of vending machines? ICC wants me to make more money, and that is where you come in. Assemble a leg implant. Agility, shiny. I will upload the recipe to your NCU. Show it to me when you are done. So, this is important. It needs to be a leg implant and it has to have the agility in there and shiny, okay? And I'll come back when I'm done. Good, I'll be here. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna scroll in a bit, and I'm gonna do it first person so it might be easier to see. Whoops, close that. Okay, so, you're gonna have many kiosks here that might be a little confusing, so we're gonna start over here. So, the little circles here, which you put in an implant, they're called clusters, they come in shiny, bright, faded, and then here's your different implants. Now what's over here? The pharmacy. Oh, okay, so you could buy stim packs and stuff. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to look here on my guide. Oh, we need a basic leg implant. So we're going to go to the implant terminal, and there you have all different parts. If I bring up the implant uh, every square here, whoops, come here you, every square here you could put an implant in, okay? They come in different levels. Uh, it starts with one, five, and ten. Now that's as high as you can go on a re landing, but I do know when you get into the main part of Anarchy Online, you can make much higher um, implants. So if we're going to take a look, so let's let us worry about, you know what, let me bring to level one here, okay. So, it tells the price, the location, these will go in your ears. This empty implant doesn't provide any stats. To get a stat boost from your implant, you must install a cluster in at least one of the three cluster slots. So they have a slot for faded, bright, and shiny. So, 
we need one for the legs. So that's eye, feet, head, left arm, left hand, left wrist, leg. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna buy that. Now, you, you can do a higher, okay. He wants an agility cluster shiny for the leg. So we're gonna look here. I'm gonna come over to shiny. We can close this. <clears throat> and we want it in agility. Now, if I'm correct, these are in alphabetical order. Starting with numbers, like the one-handed, one blunt, and then going through, like here's the two edge, and then it starts with adventuring. So, okay, agility cluster. Agility cluster, shiny leg. Now, is this the one we want? Is with any leg, you know, the quality level of the target and plant can be, be around 50% higher than the cluster. I'm just double checking, and I'm, okay, so we buy this. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to open our trade skilling. I hope I bought the right cluster, a uh, uh, right leg implant. <clears throat> So we're going to do this and this. Okay, so the source would be, think of a, I was thinking last night of how it would be the best, um, dis, uh, what is the word I'm trying to think of? Description or like analogy. So think of screwing in a screw on a, on a piece of board. So the source would be the screwdriver because you're going to use the screwdriver and the target would be the screw. So for here, this source, our screwdriver is the cluster and we're putting it into the basic leg implant, okay? And then this will be a quality level one leg implant, agility shiny. All right. And then we're going to build that. Okay. Now let's... Ah, okay. I apologize, folks. I have actually uh, ignored telling you to come look up at the descriptions of your quests, and I do apologize. Uh, you should always do that. Sometimes these the missions up here can tell you more information than just what the NPC says. So, for example, when we were helping Vernon, it would it would probably describe a bit better on what you were supposed to do with the uh, hacker tool in the library that he gave you. So that was my mistake. That's why I'm rectifying now. Okay. Okay. So, all right, we did that. We're now to provided you with the recipe for creating a leg implant sh agility shiny. Once I have to go. Okay. So now we need to buy. A stamina cluster bright for the leg. So here's bright. <clears throat> now stamina is going to be somewhere down here. And they come in twos. There's uh, different colors, so you, you kind of figure it out quick enough. Our STA should be here. All right. Now we're gonna bring up the trade skilling again. We're gonna put this here. And then we're gonna put the leg implant that we had already put in the agility in. So it's now gonna be in a leg implant agility shiny. All right. Yep, okay. So now we wanna buy a health cluster faded for the leg. So we go to health cluster, and now, uh, excuse me, we go into the faded cluster, and we look for health. F, F, F. This, if you want to do these uh, cluster things, it will take, uh, hello, H-E-A-L, I know my alphabet. G, 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 G. Heavy weapons. Huh? Did I read something wrong? Oh, max health. Pardon me, read that wrong. Yeah, I did. Um, definitely 
take your time if you want to do this. You'll have to, um, when I had did this originally, I had to spend time going through each of the things and writing down because each of the clusters and stuff in the different sections of the faded, bright, and shiny have different things in it. So you want to double check uh, what you want, what you want to put in them, etc. <clears throat> All right. All right, so now we're going to show this to the doctor. I finished that implant. Good, let's see how you did. Please give it to me. Not bad for a beginner. Now, I think you should install it. Use the surgery clinic in the corner. Well, how do I install an implant? To install an implant, you will need to utilize a surgery clinic. I recommend the stationary devices such as the one located here. In addition to needing access to a surgery clinic, you will also need some medical proficiency in treating wounds and injuries. With appropriate treatment and a strong enough body to withstand the implants, you will be able to insert implants into vacant places within your body. Okay, sorry, but that had to uh, step away for a minute. Uh, let's see, uh, as a reminder, only one implant can be in a single location. With the right skills, all you need to do is use a clinic and then begin inserting your augmentations. Well, can you give me an overview on implants? Holy cow. Certainly, I would love to. Implants are carefully crafted devices that are installed into key locations all throughout your body. They significantly enhance specific attributes and abilities depending on how they are configured. A single implant can improve up to three skills. The skills that can be improved by an implant are based on the location of the implant. For example, an augmentation, that should be an, to your right hand could increase your proficiency with a pistol or hand-to-hand -hand combat. The skills that an implant boosts depends on the clusters that are imbued inside it. To install an implant, it is easiest to utilize one of the stationary surgery clinics, such as the one here in this facility. After paying a small fee, you will be able to install your own implants. Of course, you can only have one implant per location, and you must remove the old one before installing a new one. Implants can make the seemingly impossible possible by improving all aspects of your physical or mental prowess. All right, where can implants be installed? There are 13 locations that can receive an implant. Eyes, head, ears, right arm, left arm, chest, right wi wrist, bleh, left wrist, waist, right hand, left hand, legs, and feet. So it's essentially everything that it says here in your implant. The skills available to be boosted are related to the intended location of the augmentation. You will find that implants can improve, excuse me, that improve your ability to control nanomachines, for example, will mostly be placed in the hand, ears, or eyes, while combat skills are focused around the arms and hands. Due to physical limitations, a body can only receive a single implant in each location. As good as it be for business, it would just be too dangerous to install so many augmentations in one location. So, <clears throat> what you have to keep in mind is especially what the doctor says here, that each location has specific clusters that go in there based on the ability. So that's why I suggest get yourself a big piece of paper, write down the skills, like that you're going to be doing, you know, go through your um, skill chart here, you know, go through melee weapons, etc. And then just start taking time going through the clusters. Now, I think, and I'm going to make a notation for me here, if there is a web page or an article about what, um, in each of the different clusters with the shiny and all, what is in there, I'll see if I can find something like that and slap it up here to kind of save you some time. All right, implant clusters. Uh, let's see, there are three kinds of augmentation clusters and those are by order of power, shiny, bright, and faded. It is very important to note that an implant can have a maximum of only one of each type of cluster. It is impossible to assemble an implant with more than three clusters and more than one of each flavor of cluster. Mmm, flavor. All skills have clusters available in all three types. That being said, no single implant can contain multiple clusters of the same skill. Instead, in order to receive the maximum available improvement for a particular skill, you will need to spread it over three different implants. Okay, so you can't put three of max health into like your chest, for example. It would have to be like in chest, waist, and legs. This often presents interesting decisions that need to be made. Will you improve your body's overall power or will you refine a specific skill? All right, well, there are any kind of implants that you don't offer. That's a strange sort of question. I offer implants and that is all you will find here on Ruby Ka. 
There are alternatives to implants, but you will only find those if you happen to fall through one of those JAMA-powered gateways into the Shadowlands. But we don't have that expansion, so we'll never see that. They told me that those symbionts would be the death of the implant business, but I'm still here. Also, I can't forget those who, instead of using good, healthy augmentations, implant their bodies with the ghastly remains of fallen foes. Now that's a shade. Uh, it makes me wonder if anyone cares about what they put into their bodies anymore. At least my implants are sterile and brand new. Alright, well, what's a symbiont? Something that you'll only find in the Shadowlands. They are like implants except without the attractive modular qualities. While you can't define which skills they amplify, however, you, they do often affect more than just three. You sacrifice the freedom of customization for implants that are predefined. I do not offer any of these things at my shop. All right, well, we'll ask what's the ghastly things you're talking about. I know very little about them, but those who can't allow their bodies to be enhanced by implants or symbionts use spirits. These objects are just absorbed or extracted from the body instead of requiring metal, medical training. It defies my understanding of the body, quite remarkable. Okay, well, what is Jame? Dr. Mason snorts. The Jame are the Job Association of Metaphysical Exploration. They live up on their floating city of Job in their white uniforms looking down on everyone. They are behind all of the incursions into the regions known as the Shadowlands. I don't know too much about more about them except they're just a group of secluded scientists. Uh, can you tell me about implants? Certainly they're my purpose in this world. Okay, so that's right. <clears throat> okay, so what we need to do is go over to this table here and we're going to right click it. Now, you have five minutes or until you leave the play field to swap implants. So essentially you get uh, up here in your NCU, this is the timer, okay? Well, that's interesting. This says 15 minutes and this says five minutes. Hang on a second, let me check my guide here. See, it says five minutes, but that's very strange. Anyway, what we're going to do here is you need to have this buff in order for you to slap implants on you. Now, we're going to double check this because the other thing that Dr. Mason said is you have to have the right treatment skill, I believe it is. So I need a tr treatment from 54. All right, so I guess we're going to be slapping skills in the air. Can I even do it? Well, since we're using the table, it gives us a, I think it was a plus 100, it said. Yeah, okay. But you can see here that you will need to make sure you have the right stats to do it. So what this will give us, since we made this, agility of 7, max health by 10, and stamina of 4. All right, and it tells what's in here. This implant cannot be cleaned. Ew, that's going to be dirty. All right, so we're going to slap that in our leg spot. Okay. And then we're going to go back to Dr. Mason. Welcome back. I hope you were successful. Yeah, I have installed the implant and I have all the items we need for the chip. The good doctor clasps his hands together with a big smile, nodding to himself. Excellent. Then let's get started. I'll need the blank ICC ID chip and the biological survey nanobots, if you please. Uh, okay. So we have, we have to take this. Excuse me, we have to take this out, we have to take this out. Uh, we put the ID chip in here, and the bongo drums, because that's what they look like. <clears throat> Without any warning, he pokes the side of your neck with the DNA unlocking device. A little droplet of blood runs down the outside of your throat. And there we have it, one personalized ID chip ready to be used in a card. Laura laid down at the bar has a slight side of business. Speak with her and she should be able to help out with the final step. Well, thank you for all the help. More than happy to. Like I said, if I have to bend the rules a little to help out those who've been passed over by the bureaucracy, I'm more than happy to do so. At any rate, Lorelai should be able to help you from here. Best of luck. Sincerely. Okay. So we now have a personalized ID chip and we need to go put it in a card. So... Lorelai, <clears throat> pardon me, is the next person we're going to go see. Now, you, she's out here. We're going to make a left. Go up this ramp. And into the building 
right here. It's more like a, almost like a taverny bar. You got some patrons over there. You have Lorelai the bartender. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. The young woman before you smiles brightly as you approach, her hands busy polishing a tumbler with a rather less than sanitary looking rag. Hey there, cutie. What can I get you? I was told you might be able to give me a hand. You will yet again start the process of explaining your situation when, barely five, sec five words in, Lorelai raises her hand to stop you with a soft, friendly chuckle. No, no, it's okay. I can help you. You don't have to go through the whole story. Probably better I don't know. However, I will need you to do me a favor before I help you out. Well, I'll help you. What do you need? You need to find my stupid reet, Lolly. A reet is a bird. Uh, like a parrot. He escaped again. I believe he might have found a girlfriend or something. Try looking for him near the other reets in the desert oasis. Uh, well, what is a reet? Raising an eyebrow, she looks slightly confused for a moment. It's a bird. Have you been living under a rock? Yes. Is there anything in particular I should know about Lolly? He is blue and talks a lot, and he really loves peanut butter cookies. If you plan to lure him into the cage, it would probably be a good idea to buy a cookie before you leave. So we want to go... It's a notation. We want to go into her shop. Now, she sells different drinks. I don't know what they do. I've never really fiddled with the drinks in this game. And I think we scroll to the bottom. Oh, here it is. Oh, man, that looks damn good. Tasty peanut butter cookies. So we're going to buy that. So we have the cookie. And she gave us this here, a pet cage. All right. Goodbye. Okay. Now. <clears throat> What this is going to do is we need to, let's see, now we need to do a bit of trekking into the desert and grassy area. Okay, so we need to go outside into the scary place with the roller rats. <laughs> so we're going to exit here, building. And then where was the ramp? Um, not further over this way. Okay, so it does give us a yellow dot, yellow energy dot, so we know that we're going to have to uh, run through the desert, and I think we're going to be aiming ourselves to this grassy area over here. Ooh, Dinah, you alive? Ooh, I'm going to kill you. This is for Nathan and his friends. Come here, Gnarl the Roller. I'm going to mess you up. <clears throat> Starting attack fail. Why? Why? Huh. I could trade with him. That's disappointing. I'll kill you later. I wonder if I have to, uh, kill some roller rats. Well, don't worry. I'll, uh, get vengeance later. Alright. Anywho. So these are a bunch of desert reeds. Now remember, if the dot is... Oh gosh darn it. Darn phone. If the dot is red, they will attack us. So where are we going? Okay, this little X in here. <clears throat> Alright, so what we need to do is... You see this little bopping thing over here? That's Lolly. And we have to talk to Lolly to get him to stop flopping around. There we go. Lolly the Reed. Lolly wants a cracker. So we're going to give... A cookie to it. The bird starts eating the tasty cookie. It is distracted. Now is the time to catch it. So then we're going to quietly pick up the bird. Lolly doesn't notice that you get closer, and by the time he does, he is already in your hands. Okay. Um, I know I went through that quickly, but I only did that because of the stupid bird's uh, thing running around. Is it in? It is not in. What happened? You knucklehead. <clears throat> oh, no, here he is. Excuse me. Let me get out of here. I'm sorry. You you pick him up. He doesn't go right in the cage. Let me get out of this area. Uh, the reason why I did it quick is because while you're going through that, the other birds and animals will just start beating the snot out of you. So let's quickly make our way back to the ramp, and then I'll show you what you need to do. Uh, roller rats, 
roller rats. Nathan doesn't really like roller rats. And I believe Nathan's friends was Steven and Dave. I think that's what their names are. Oh, well, there we go. Level 9. What do you got on the other little booger? Absolutely nothing. Disappointment. Okay. So we need to do... The source is... Yeah, there we go. So the source is a cage because we're going to grab the parrot in it. And the result is there's a parrot in the cage. Okay. Because if you don't give Lolly the cookie, you will not be able to capture him because he'll just keep flying away. And I think out of that whole quest, the biggest difficulty is trying to run up and right click on him to talk because you have to talk to him. So if, if he keeps getting out of the way, out of the, way the damn bird's going to... You're just going to have to keep chasing them around. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. I have your bird. With a sharp smile and nod, the bartender extends her hand. All right, then. Sounds like we're ready to do this. I need, I'll need. i need the ID chip, too. All right. So we're going to give the bird. We're going to give the chip. She places the birdcage on the ground, and you can see Lolly breaking out of his cage as she crouches down behind the counter. This will take just a second. Honey, you need a better damn cage for your bird. Actually, that reminds me of a little story time. I had a bird many years ago who learned how to flip the door up on either the front of the cage or where you would put the food and water in. She would just break out all the time. Let's see. This will take just a sec. You hear a few miscellaneous beeps and dings from something underneath the bar top. And here you go. Congratulations, you are now a fully-fledged colonist of Ruby Ka. You should talk to Vaughn Hammond about entering ICC HQ. Well, thank you. Excuse me, I have some feathers to pick with my little friend. <laughs> Stupid bird, why do you always have to run away? Okay, so even though the timer went off, there's actually just one step left, and then we'll be done here. So I'm going to do that quickly. Let's see. So we need to find Vaughn Hammond. Where the hell are you? <laughs> All right. Oh, if I'm right. Oh, here we go. So we're going to make a left, and he's right outside the ICCHQ. Now, after I talk with him, I'm not going to go through the door because that, of course, would end the uh, tutorial. Uh, what you have to keep in mind is once you leave here, Arete Landing, you can never come back, okay? So if you decide you want to do stuff in the tutorial, do a lot of stuff after I'm done this. We're going to be moving right into the side quests, okay? But just keep in mind, a low sigh comes from inside the Peacekeeper's helmet. Uh, hello, citizen. On behalf of the ICC, I welcome you to Ruby Ka. Please present your identification to proceed to the elevator. All right, here we go. Very well, then. Let's see it. Ooh, excuse me. Everything seems to be in order. I have uploaded your identity details to your NCU. You may leave a read landing whenever you are ready. Well, how do I leave? Simply use the elevator. All right, well, what is ICC? ICC stands for Interstellar Confederation of Corporations. It is ICC that owns this planet. Who are you? This information doesn't concern you. Okay. Why do you need an ID to leave this place? It is important to both ICC and Omnitech that all citizens of Ruby Ka are properly registered. I think Omnitech is one of the bigger factions, bigger than the clan. I don't know if they run a bunch of stuff or something. What will I find when I leave a REIT landing? ICC's HQ is a city. You will find everything from vendors to citizens there. All right. So, we are set to leave. You would just hit this uh, terminal there. But we're not going to be doing that. Because, folks, when I come back, we're going to be moving into the side missions. Now, I will say one thing before we get in there, is that with the side missions, a little bit more grinding because some of them you need to find items. So you may need to kill, like, all different types of creatures for them. Um, but I do think a lot of the side missions and what you get for them are worth it. Uh, also, when we get back, I will have implants in all my slots, because I always like to do that. I'll get myself leveled up, and uh, I will see you then. So, this is Angel Terry. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.